Hi, Justin JYTZ here. I've got a Yaesu FP1030 analog power supply which has uh, been giving me some trouble recently in that the cooling fan wasn't running, so it was overheating. I could smell it actually, so it was really overheating. Um, however, I found the problem with it. Um, I opened the power supply up and put a 10K resistor, or well, actually a 4.7K resistor across the um, thermistor contacts and the fan ran. I then put a 10k resistor across it and the fan ran more slowly so that was a good indication that the uh, little driver circuit or Darlington pair was uh, working okay uh, to turn the fan on and off. Um, on an inspection I actually discovered the thermistor was perfectly okay. It should measure about 7 or 8k at room temperature uh, but actually become desoldered from the little solder pad. So if you have one of these power supplies and you have a problem with the cooling fan not coming on, check the thermistor first. Just put um, a fluke or an AVO meter across the contacts of the thermistor and uh, the uh, in-circuit uh, resistance reading should be around about 7, 7 8K or so. Um, and uh, anyway, uh, on resoldering the thermistor, I actually took the whole thing out and actually measured it on an AVO meter and put it near the soldering iron just to watch the um, uh, temperature dropping, uh, the, the resistance dropping of the temperature. It's a negative uh, coefficient uh, thermistor with open circuit or at least at low temperature, 50 Fahrenheit, uh, should be about 10K, room temperature about 7 or 8K. And as the um, uh, temperature goes up, the uh, resistance should drop on it. So uh, as long as you get a, a, that sort of value of thermistor, you should be fine. And, um, well, it wasn't the thermistor at all, it just come desoldered from one of the pads. So obviously the power supply got hot and uh, over the years the little uh, uh, lead of the thermistor had sprung off the uh, pad. And that's all it was. So if you have one of these power supplies, that's probably the first thing to check. Uh, do the first check with the resistor across the thermistor. Check the driver circuit's working okay and the fan's okay. And then, uh, th then just go and uh, re resolder it and... Um, uh, make sure you've got that 7 to 8k resistance uh, in circuit uh, on the thermistor. Here's the video. Well, I had a problem with this uh, Yaesu FP1030 power supply. It was overheating and uh, the fan wasn't coming on. Anyway, on investigation, I uh, discovered that the um, thermistor, which is under that little bit of PCB and those two wires coming off it, um, I suspected it was faulty. It was showing 100k open circuit. It should be around at room temperature, around about 8k and um, took the thermistor out, tested it on my avimeter and it was perfectly all right. Now, I realised actually when I, when I took it out, actually one of the wires was loose. So um, the, uh, on the thermistor itself, it wasn't actually attached or become desoldered to the board there. Anyway, it's, uh, it's all plugged in. I have my uh, hot air gun. So we'll put it on number one and uh, do the final test. And the fan's running. <laughs> so, uh, quite pleased about that. So if you have one of these power supplies, I mean, the components in them are exceptionally high quality. It's a so-and-so to take apart and get to this uh, little um, fan control board. But um, uh, my first part of the test was just to put a uh, 4.7K resistor across the thermistor contacts and uh, the fan ran. Then I tried a 10K, it ran slower. I thought, oh, okay. So the um, little um, sort of Darlington type arrangement uh, uh, on, on the fan is perfectly okay. And um, I'll say a uh, couple of probes across the um, thermistor now indicate 8K. They were indicating 100K and I think 30K the other way because obviously there's the uh, 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 bipolar junction on the transistor. But um, overall quite a successful little... Um, um, thing. So if you have a problem with one of these power supplies, just check the uh, thermistors making contact just by going across those two little uh, red wires. You should be about 7 or 8k at room temperature. And as you can hear, as it, uh, uh, it cools down from the hot air gun, um, the fan's uh, quietly going to zero. So anyway, quite a successful, I'll put it all back together now. It's a bit of a so-and-so to get these two screws out because you can't really lift the transformer out. You need a nice long screwdriver. So I, I, I used uh, one of these Halfords, um, uh, I think it's a posi drive. Um, uh, what is it? It's a, uh, yeah, 
posi drive, yeah, two to two by two fifty. Um, so it was a two, fitted the screws nicely. Then you can lift the transformer, uh, get get uh, just lift the transformer up a bit, a bit of leverage, get get the screws underneath to get get into here. Otherwise, it's uh, quite quite a nightmare to work on. But uh, there we go. It's I've had it for about twelve years, and I bought it second hand uh, when I bought it. You know. Uh, I've got another one which I bought new, which is fine, but uh, now I've sorted out the heating problem, I'm uh, a bit more comfortable uh, running Whisper all night on it. All the best, uh, G8YTZ.